What a little lovely thing this turned out to be in the morning light. Well, hey, it's Steve, a thousand year home. Welcome aboard. So in the waning hours of today, I've got just a little bit more time. I'm going to go ahead and fix up this uh, little secret garden swing that I found a couple of weeks ago. So let me go ahead and show it to you. If you've been watching for a little bit, you know you saw me hang it in a tree in a short, but uh, the wood has never been preserved at all. And I really like this spot. It's, it's a gorgeous spot in the weeds and a little secret overlooking both gardens. So let's go ahead and and uh, put a final coat on that, protect it from the elements. So I think red cedar, since the rest of the house is cedar. Let's do that. Leah read the instructions in here and it says to never shake. And I have been shaking this stuff my whole life. And I guess I've been doing it wrong. So there we go. I did it wrong again. But I suppose they don't want bubbles in it. That's what I bet. They're probably right. But it's okay. This was some of that custom stuff that people made. And they didn't like the color of it. Let's see what that looks like on camera. A little dark. It says... Red chestnut. All right. I am just after a preservative. It's okay if this thing retreats into the into the uh, woods. That's that will make me perfectly happy. But uh, I'm gonna put it on kind of thick. It's just a wood stain, satin at that. I'm hoping that repels the water. Because I would like to have this around for a decade or so. And if I leave it untreated, man, I won't get a decade out of it. <laughs> Not at all. It's not a fine piece of furniture, so I'm not being I'm not being too careful. Applying it. I'm being liberal with applying it. Nice and thick. Over the screw heads, I want to get all that wood saturated in there mm -hmm. I was uh, trying to restore this of course I would have sanded it and put the cedar back to uh, natural instead of this weathered gray but I don't care this is a secret garden chair it's supposed to be a surprise people aren't supposed to see it a mile away when they find it, they're supposed to go, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. It's these ends that I want to make sure I get good saturation in. It's either already, already beginning to check. This was fine furniture, you know. I wouldn't be splashing it around. I would finish one spot and before I move on to the next but I'm painting whatever pleases me this today there is a little red to this you can't probably see it on the camera it is getting later in the evening and we're we're stuck underneath the trees all those things factored in it probably looks more like a dark walnut and we're painting it on the gray so but I'm getting it down into the cracks is where I want it. Down into the cracks so it'll, again, last a hundred years. Down into all the screw heads, just splashing it on. I found it for $9 at Lowe's. Somebody didn't like the color they mixed. Brought it back. That's all right, I like min wax. I wouldn't know why anybody bring it back unless they didn't like the color. I will admit the color that I see on the thing, which is more of a, it doesn't show red. <laughs> right? That, that looks like honey pine. But it, it clearly says red chestnut. I don't know. So somebody bought it based on the color they saw and turned out 
It's not the color they get. Maybe on a piece of pecan or something that's already light, it would have would have been perfect. But that's a little off there. If uh, Minwax did that photograph, I could see why they got a return on that one. But nine dollars to preserve a outdoor swing seemed like a heck of a deal to me. I'm happy with the color. Get you up in here instead of my back where you can see me work. Well, the wind threw you down in the ground over there, so I'll move you in closer. Like I said, the storms are coming. It's certainly gratifying. I'm putting extra in the screw heads to really preserve those. It gets a couple hours at least to soak in and cook a little bit before the rain clouds return. I will not say I hope it doesn't rain. I'm, in Texas, I always hope it rains. Yeah, I don't want to be flooded out, but hear what I'm saying. Grateful for it every time it do. I'm glad somebody else has sat here enough they've sanded it. There's not a sliver to be found. <laughs>
Well, what did we learn today, Internet? We learned that you probably got an old can of Midwax stain that's just going to waste in your uh, garage. You probably have an old piece of gray cedar furniture you can't stand to look at anymore. Why don't you go ahead and spend the time? Go get that old, go get that old Minwax. P apply it, look how good that looks. I got rid of uh, Minwax without having it go old and I bet you added 20 years to the life of this uh, thrift store find that I got on the side of the road that I'm really digging. Let me walk out so you can appreciate the little secret place that it is. Look at that, delightful. Like, subscribe, follow me along. Bye. What a little lovely thing this turned out to be in the morning light. I see it's still curing, but I do see a little hint of red in that brown. I didn't sand it or anything, so how delightful. Steve approves. An adult swing in the middle of the woods overlooking the gardens. Life is good.